Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. In a comment to a previous video, a viewer asked about the cabins of the planes and so we're doing a cabin check but I'm also going to talk about the camera controls and how you can potentially get into a cabin uh, if that is what you so want to choose to do. Uh, so first thing, uh, the normal controls are the arrow keys and you can pan up, pan down, go left uh, right and left, of course, just with the arrow keys. And then if you want to recenter, you can go control space and then that recenters you in the cockpit. Um, if you're sneaky though, you can uh, turn to the right here and move the right arrow key and then you hit a wall in the Airbus A320. Now you won't hit a wall in all planes. You might be able to get into the cabin of uh, some of the smaller planes and sit as a passenger but in the A320 there does not seem to be the ability to do that which suggests that there is no cabin <laughs> so we do have another way to check though and so I'll go into external view first and that's by pressing end and then this is this view where you can also still control the plane but there's also a drone camera view if you press insert and so there's a drone view and now I can't control the plane um, at least I can't. I, I, maybe somebody else can depending on their controls. I don't know. But I'm using a Logitech game controller in order to control the drone camera instead of the regular controls. I don't know how the regular controls are set up. But if you do have a game controller, you can use it to control this camera. It's a little bit handier because it gives you uh, all the axes in a very simple way. And we can sort of uh, get ourselves in here. Well, we see at the back end here, there's the service area. So there's the, the service area here. And let's see, let's move forward. Um, so we can tuck ourselves in here somehow, but there's sort of gaps here. So they model this for some reason. And then uh, moving forward, we see some interesting details, but definitely no full cabin. No full cabin, but this area is done for some reason. <laughs> I guess uh, maybe for the cargo bay because there's cargo loading sequence or something. And uh, maybe, yeah, maybe that's it. And then they've modeled this area. And I suppose it's because they opened the doors. I think, yeah, it's because they opened the doors and they wanted something inside to show when the doors open uh, for that animation at the gates. I think that's it. So that's what we've got here. Let's check some of the other planes and what we can do in those other planes. But again, to get out of this view, it's insert and then end to get back into the cockpit and you can recenter by control space. So I won't check out the obvious stuff like the pit special. I mean, there, there is no cabin uh, per se. I mean, you've got a full cockpit though. But let's take a look at the 747. I assume that it also doesn't have a full cabin, but we'll see. Let's double check. Okay, so here we are in the 747, and we can take a look at the forward cabin, if you will, the cockpit. And there seems to be more room in the back, so let's go ahead and just sort of shift ourselves over. No, uh, well, the, the, there's a sort of a wall here. I can't shift like this anymore. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to use the exterior view. So, back into insert and proceeding. Again, we have the back area, but we see no, no main cabin, uh, baggage area, I guess that's for, and then this forward area, and then, actually, interestingly, uh, oh, the, right, the cockpit's up there, ha. Huh. I'm going like, where's the cockpit? Nope, the cockpit is up top here. So, that's what we've got. For the 747. So here we are in the 787 and I don't expect anything different. The only reason I thought that maybe there might be some interesting cabin thing, well actually we've, we've seen of course there are some specific areas modeled but uh, the one reason why I think that they, this might be an interesting exercise is for some of the other planes. Now the 787 is one of the premium deluxe planes and Ironically, it has like less model than it, so let's see. Let's see what it's got. Well, again, the back area. Uh, for some reason, these windows. I'm not too sure why those windows in particular. That's interesting. 
things you find out. Luggage area? No, uh, gear wells? Gear wells? These windows, I don't know why. Um, there's a panel right there. Well, no, that's sort of an invisible thing. Uh, again, luggage area. And then the forward area where people come in. Forward wheel well. And of course the cockpit area. So that's what we've got here. But yeah, this might be a little bit of a downer for the airliners, but let's take a look at the interiors of the other planes, which do allow you to sit as a passenger in a plane, though they're not really, you know, airliners. Okay, so here we are with the TBM 930, and this time, if we set, uh, sidestep ourselves, we will get into the seating area, if you will, the passenger area. And I can easily, without going into the drone view, sidestep myself into... Uh, well, let's uh, get me a little bit further back here. Into this seat. And pretend I'm a passenger. Or maybe that seat is better. Let's see. I don't know whether people like flying backwards or not, but you can do that too. So, it's a nice enough interior. It's not the... It's not an airliner cabin, but still, it has its moments. And actually, it'll be inter interesting to see, is there any other details? I doubt it, uh, but let's see in the drone view if there's anything we're missing here inside the plane. Like, I mean, no, it's, it's pretty much, I think, oh, I forgot I could rotate like that. It's pretty much what you see in there. Except in the uh, exterior view, we can see p people inside, which is always interesting. When we were actually inside, we can't see them. But they're not actually badly modeled, to be honest. Maybe if they're really, really super close up, they're not that convincing. But let's see. Hold on. Oh, wow. They really do dis just disappear, don't they? As soon as I go convincingly in here. I was trying to see whether looking off to the side the guy would look reasonable but oh uh, okay sort of like that. You know that's not too bad actually. That's not too bad. We could have passengers potentially so that's a thing. Alright another plane. Okay I am skipping some of the smaller ones like the Cirrus. They have good interiors as well but uh, here we are with the King Air and so let's take a look at what the back end of this looks like. It's got nice wood paneling uh, so there's that. But I can't really use the sidestep method to get into the back so there's that. We'll have to use the insert method. You can do insert without going into the exterior view first but I prefer to do that to keep things a little bit straighter for myself. Okay, so even though we couldn't go directly from the cockpit into the back here, uh, no, up, 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 up. Uh, sorry. Uh, there we go. There is a back end, so. So yeah, in fact, a little couch here. You want to sit here, I suppose. They didn't model the seat belts. <laughs> well, that's asking a lot. So, let's see. Um, oh, ah, too far. Okay, I'll take the seat. Uh, need to be higher. Oh, shoot. Uh, uh. Well, I'll have to nudge my camera a little bit more to get it right, but you get the point. We've got seats here. It's not as uh, finely done as the TBM, I think. The seats are a little bit fuzzier on the textures, but the wood paneling is nice. Do we still have peoples in there? Yeah, we do. Same peoples, but you know, what do you expect? Okay, uh, how about some of the jets? 
Okay, so here we are with the Cessna Citation CJ4. And of course, this is the cockpit. If I sidestep, I can't go to the back. And so we go to the insert view. And let's see if we've still got a cabin here. And not much of a back area, but we have six seats here. They are different seats than the other planes. Uh, darker sort of mahogany wood paneling. I don't know what to call it actually. Uh, so we've got that. I, I wanted to see what this ah what the little computer is. Uh, well, my flight. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it's backwards. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, it's gotta be a little bit difficult staying in this cabin. Oh, there's another couch here for a cabin attendant or whoever you like. So there is a cabin area here. Okay, so this is the premium deluxe Cessna Citation Longitude. And if this is. The seats are look less comfortable than in the TBM. 9.30 I have to say, but let's see, can we sidestep? No, we can't sidestep into the cabin, so back to the drone view. A little bit lower. And this premium plane does not have a cabin. Very interesting. That's sort of a surprise. And uh, consistently I've noticed that the premium deluxe planes seem less done than the actual regular planes. So, uh, take that for what you will. But yeah, um, not, not too sure what to make of this situation. But I guess they treated it like one of the airliners. Though it doesn't exactly have a luggage compartment or anything. And it's, it's not that big. It wouldn't have been that difficult to do. Let's take a look at the Cessna Grand Caravan, which I think has about as many seats as this does, I'm not sure. Okay, here we are in the Cessna Grand Caravan, and here we can probably go directly into the seats. No, not not like this. Uh, maybe, maybe if I sidestep this way first and, and go... No. Okay, they're right there. I'm just saying, okay, fine, we'll do the insert view instead. These don't look like the most comfortable seats, to be honest. Yeah. Definitely, I mean, it's a Grand Caravan. Maybe they should have had boxes in the back and just made it a cargo version. These are rather sad seats compared to all the others. But it has them. They exist. So there you have it. I think I'll wrap it up here. So let's get back into the main cabin and I'll reset my camera. And yep, well, there is our cabin check. There are a lot of other planes, uh, smaller planes. They generally have, you know, seats in the back and you could probably shift into them. So that's simple enough. So, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.